What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back and today I wanted to do a quick guide for you guys. For those of you who are trying to get the Glassmaker Nightwave uh, parts done. And what I mean by that is this Nightwave is a little bit different than the other Nightwaves in which there are five like detective scenes that you can go through, uh, search out these items which are all very specific uh, to each account. And after you run this short little quest, uh, you basically, uh, or test we'll say, it's just a short little test, you can basically net yourself, uh, in the first one at least, a 7,000 Nightwave standing. So uh, I'm gonna guide you through, I'm gonna show you guys what to look for specifically, um, so, so you guys can get through and do this test yourself. Like I said, it is unique to everyone's profile. So the exact items that I find, you may not find, but I will show you which ones uh, you need to actually take a look, look out for and uh, maybe little variances that you will see uh, which will help you, you know, do your test as well. But basically, we are within Cetus. Uh, in this the little detective part, there is uh, several different things scattered throughout the area, one of which is this Ayatan star, which you can see here. Mine has this I logo on it, which is unique to me and, you know, other players. But you are going to need to take a look at this symbol right here in order to... Uh, basically, uh, keep keep this in mind. Keep that symbol in mind because this is going to be part of the test that you run in order to get your standing and uh, get some lore out of it as well. But you can see it on the Ayatan Eye. You can also see it over here on the right-hand side. And this is something you're going to have to remember. So there are five different clues. This is the first. The second one you're going to find nearby to the, the Astron member, which is going to be some kind of weapon. For me, it is this large staff you can see laying on the ground. Upon further inspection, you can kind of get a little bit more detail on it. Um, it's very, very long, but this might not be the same thing you find. Uh, mine's a staff. Yours could be, I believe, a dagger or some kind of sword. Um, but I have to remember that I have a staff. Um, we're going to return to this person with the crystallized uh, stuff on their, on their heads here in just a moment. But walking around, we are going to be searching for three more clues. Uh, if you come over in this direction, a lot of this area is blocked off, but you will find your third clue, which is this decrypted message. Basically a small data pad, but the most important thing you need to remember is this code word right here. Uh, mine is tilt shifter. Yours could be different, but you have to keep that in mind when you do this, uh, do this part of the, the, you know, do the test itself. Tilt shifter is mine. Uh, remember, it's, it's probably going to be in the same location, but just in case, uh, it's going to be kind of highlighted when you take a look at it. So that data pad is checked out and we will be able to resume. All right, so of course, uh, there's going to be a little bit of lore tied into all of this, so you can make sure you pay attention if you're interested in that. But moving on to another data pad, we have this data pad which has this transaction declined message but specifically we are looking for the person associated with this message for me it is going to be maru uh, for you guys i believe it could be lv or someone else as well but for me it is maru um, so i will have to keep that in mind when i run this test that we're going to encounter and uh, that is going to be our fourth clue our fourth clue so moving on a little bit further uh, there is this small little section that is blocked off over here. However, there is going to be a note slipped underneath the, the little mat that is uh, on the ground. That is something that you're going to have to find. A burned Astron note. Well, at first I thought the symbol may be the thing that's important. It is not. What you're going to be looking for is this code, well not code name, but the person that signed this paper uh, at the very, very bottom. For me, it is Khalid and it might be different for you guys as well, but I'm going to have to keep that in mind. That is my fifth clue. That is my fifth, you know, little secret that I'm going to have to, uh, you know, consider. And yeah, so moving on ahead, uh, what we're going to do is make our way back to person next to the weapon, the crystallized person. Here. Uh, the, what you need to keep in mind, though, is 
in order to do this, you're going to need 10 cephalite resonance. Now, if you have already found the clues and written them down and all that stuff, you're good to go. Uh, you don't have to, you know, come back here and, and find all that out. Write it down, you know, make sure you have it remembered. But in order to get 10 cephalite resonance, what you need to do is go into uh, some missions. You need to then have, there's these spawns that happen with these crystallized enemies that are going to fight you. What you do with that is you're going to fight these guys off, you're going to defeat them, and you're going to acquire some Cephalite Resonance when that happens. You need to acquire 10 of it. You can find the number of Cephalite Resonance if you go into the little Nightwave tab in your navigation where you find all your rewards and stuff. Um, you hover over the little pie type area down at the bottom, you know, where you, where you found this detective area. What you're going to do hover over that is going to tell you how much cephalite resonance you do have but upon coming in here to the little detective part uh, and you interact with this character it's going to actually have you run the test so we're going to get on into it i'm going to show you uh what it looks like basically there is this large platform you're going to be standing on there's going to be a few of these that you're going to uh to to jump f to and from um, but there are going to be little divergences based on the answers that, or the keywords and answers that we found uh, previously. So, as you saw as I spun around, we saw a couple different faces. Um, this first question will change, uh, you know, it's easy to change. So first we had Alan V, we also had Baro Katir, and we have Maru. I had Maru on my data pad, so that is the one I'm going to follow. The second one for me was the weapons. There is the dagger, there is the sword, and for me, I found the staff, so I'm going to jump to the staff. The third one for me has to do with the Ayatan star. Mine was the actual eye, so we're going to do that. The fourth one was the person that signed the paper. For me, it was Khalid, and I am going to follow that path. And lastly was the, yeah, the, the nickname. Mine was Tilt Shifter. Now, I'm gonna throw this out there because you can see me obviously mess up here. If you fall off these platforms, you will be reset to the detective portion of this, uh, this little interaction. Problem is, and I don't know if this is still the case, but I believe you lost the 10 cephalite resonance that you had if you fail this. And by failing this, I mean if you fall off this platform or if you choose the wrong answer, which also causes you to fall off the platform, I believe, um, you're going to have to do this over again. You'll see the second time through, my questions are asked in a different order. So my first time was the eye, and I almost fell off again. But anyway, my first one was about the, the Ayatan star. My second one was the nickname. And then my third one was the, the person that signed the note. As we go through, jumping from platform to platform, my fourth one was the staff. So as you can see, questions totally different, uh, different order. And then lastly will be the person on the data pad, which was Maru. Getting to this final platform, you're going to see this stone slash crystal-y thingy in the middle. Um, this is going to be the end of this little test portion. You're going to get a little bit of lore uh, from, from whoever is speaking. Also, you're going to get a little bit of lore when you actually interact with this stone. Um, but upon exiting this area, they call it the weave, upon exiting this area, you're going to get your night wave standing. It is 7,000, I believe, in all the different little test portions, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's going to increase, but that is that. That is basically how to get through this. I've shown you guys what to look out for um, so you guys can easily do it yourself. If something is strange and weird and for whatever reason there's a discrepancy, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to fix it. But I really hope this helped you guys. I hope you guys got your guy, your extra standing. Uh, it'll help you get on through those rewards, um, you know, fair, fairly well. Uh, since there's five of these, I think it's, if it's 7,000 each, you'll get 35,000 extra standing if you go through and do this. So definitely 
do this, give it a shot. Um, I'm going to try and do a guide for each segment. I believe there are five, like I said. So stay tuned, feel free to subscribe. Uh, drop a like on this video if this did help you out. Dropping, you know, doing doing stuff like that, interacting with this video helps the video get out there for more people to see, which will help more people get this done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, hope this helped, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Blah!